six fielders ahead, 340 to go. Let's see if they run or pass for it. This drive is used a lot of time. There's a rollout. That's all. Fires. the option of running and throwing. Cobb falls down, which could be a handicap to him. You'll see Seaman running over. Bradshaw stops and drills this thing right in the middle of the Brown. He found his opening back in the middle there. His grouse is too late. Bradshaw's been booed for five years in Pittsburgh. He has come into his own the last month. 3.31 to go. He lost his job in preseason. He had a sore arm. A young Gillum, a brilliant was, passer, Joe Gillum. That was a good play, Kurt. That thing uh, it was. rolling out. Uh, there was an instant there where it looked like he should run. You never know until you're down there. He used, uh, obviously, the right decision. He saw Brown break loose in the middle and hit him wide open. But that's a sign of poise. Now, in a, in another day, he might have run, but he has that ability to look at that defense very calmly and pick that to man. You see Joe good. Green and Harry Bradshaw grass pans there. Everybody loves everybody when you win. 15 to 6 now, Steelers ahead, the point by Gorilla. Ball and spots it, up, and the kick is good. That drive, 11 plays, consumed a lot of time, and now puts the Steelers 10 points ahead. We'll line up for the kickoff to score. Pittsburgh 16, Minnesota 6. Pittsburgh 5 and fumble the ball. Joe Green recovered. The kickoff. Bounding around. Matt McClanahan has it. Into the 30. And he stopped just short of his 40 yard line. Matt McClanahan hit by Jim Allen. Let's watch the touchdown again. Watch Bradshaw roll out on this one now. You have to respect his running ability because he can take off and tear for that flag. Well, you, you got a good block on Winston on the outside. Right here's the point. He saw he made Seaman come up, number 50. That's the guy he had to work off of. That gave him the lane right through to Brown. You're it's, right. He really drilled it. Yep, he drilled it right in there. That was hard. Hard one to defense against. Backing's ball under 39. Targeting going deep to Gilliam. Intercepted by Mike Wagner. Wagner's at the 40. At the 50, still going. And is down on the Minnesota. 41-yard line, Rod. Driving over the 40, Franco Harris had to knock one of his own men out of the way first. Jim Clack to reach the 38-yard line of the Vikings. Well, let's see, Kurt. He still has a chance for that rushing record. And with time running out, we're going to see him get the football a few more times. Minnesota scored on a block punt, missed the point. The Steelers came right back, going 66 yards and kept the ball seven minutes on that drive. A coach's dream of a classic drive. Break it down. Seven to go. Franco Harris, the to give Franco a shot at the record now. He had 142 yards before that carry. He picked up a yard on it. He's now two yards away from Sonka's record. We pause briefly for station identification. This is the NBC Television Network. KBRC TV, Channel 2, Houston. Michael Harris. And he's broken Larry Sonka's Super Bowl record. A new Super Bowl rushing record for Franco Harris. Who's the most valuable player in the game? Is it Harris? Is it Joe Green? Is it Terry Bradshaw? They all are. Or Terry Lee Greenwood. Yeah, 22 footballs. You'd have to give it to every one of them. Mikey's a call timeout now with a minute 40. There's a new record. Franco Harris has run for 159 yards, breaking Larry Saka's record last year of 145. Here he is breaking it, making the good Franco Harris cut.
broken. Quite a man's record, Larry Sockman. Officially 158 yards. First down, the Steelers ahead, 16 to 6. Steeler fans counting it down. Rocky Blyer. Oh, he's been a plugger in the last few weeks for the Steelers. Wally Hilgenberg running down. The Vikings playing courageously, just not, could not get a ground game going. They were stopped cold on the ground. Chuck Knoll about to realize the greatest moment of his life, winning the Super Bowl. A buff on classical music, good wines. The clock is moving with a minute and five to go. And the Vikings will set a Super Bowl record, their third loss. Super Bowl history. But they've been here three of the last six years. Here it is to Lynn Swan. He's down by Carl Eller on a flanker reverse. Block is moving. We want to thank Five for four decades. Not far from the spot where Art Rooney's father ran the Rooney Saloon in the old days. Always has that cigar jutting out of his jaw, and he's a soft touch. 51 seconds to go. His son, Dan Rooney, is the general manager. He walks to Riverfront Stadium. He's a great Pittsburgh Pirate baseball fan. Rocky Blyer carrying the ball. Art Rooney probably sees more Pirate baseball games than the other fan. He just loves sports. He was quite a center fielder. And at the figures, the Pittsburgh Steelers did not have a sack to the quarterback, and yet they had a tremendous rush on Fran Tarkin. Five times they tipped his passer. This is Rocky Blyer. He's down. And the American Conference is now dominating the Super Bowl. This will be their third win in a row, Miami twice, Pittsburgh today. Dallas interrupted the string. This will be the sixth American Football Conference win, the three for the National Conference. The offensive unit gets a hand. Franco Harris going off. Ben State's happy about his performance today. 37 seconds to go, and the Vikings are out of timeout. They're trailing 16 to 6. Imagine after the game, Frank Target of mine say it's his toughest pass rush as he ever faced, even though he wasn't sacked. He's trying to throw it to Dave Osborne. Target now has 10 out of 24. Thirty-three seconds to go. Look at those yards rushing. Twenty-one yards. They've held Minnesota. They held the Oakland Raiders. We had the best record in pro football until they were upended by the Steelers The 29 yards rushing. They've been even better today stopping the Viking attack than they did the Raiders. That's the defense. There's the flare out on a screen. It's Oscar Reed who's now in the game. And he's stopped by Lord Caves, who's filled in for Andy Russell. Frank Harris says we're number one, and he's been number one today, the most valuable player. We're down now to 15 seconds to go. The Steeler fans pounding it off. The Vikings trying to line up. An awesome physical team with the Steelers today. Up goes Harris. Joe Green. Pittsburgh, the Super Bowl chance. Chuck Knowles up there. Pittsburgh wins it 16 to 6. Chuck Knowles being carried off. They were about the worst team in pro football when he took over. They rebuilt by the draft, not by trading. They made every number one and two pick count. They're still a very young team. I would say their best years are ahead of them. A team that may not have even reached its peak that just started to come into its own in the last six weeks of this season. And the future opponents are going to have some trouble. To the Vikings, another bitter loss for them, but their organization has been here three times now in the last six years. Kurt Gowdy, thanking you for viewing it.
the final score, Pittsburgh 16 and Minnesota 6. We'll have a review of today's Super Bowl game in a moment. Right now we pause for station identification.